for today's video, I am Becoming Diane Carroll. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Diane Carroll's life, achievements, and her impact on the entertainment industry while I get ready to recreate one of her photos. Carol Diane Johnson was born on July 17, 1935 in the Bronx, New York. Music was always an important part of her life as a child. She sang in the Harlem Church Choir at age six. At 10 years old, she received the Metropolitan Opera Scholarship for Studies at New York's High School of Music and Art. In her teen years, she began to model and sing at nightclubs. By this time, she changed her name to Diane Carroll. She had her Broadway debut in The House of Flowers in 1954. That same year, she made her film debut in Carmen Jones alongside Dorothy Dandridge. Diane Carroll made a number of films throughout her career. In 1962, she became the first African-American woman to win a Tony Award for Best Actress. Also in 1974, she was nominated for an Academy Award for her role in Claudine. However, it was her lead role in Julia in 1968 which solidified her stardom. This made her the first African-American woman to star in the series. Her role paved the way for other African-American actresses to star in their own series such as Kerry Washington in Scandal and Viola Davis in How to Get Away with Murder. She was also well known for her role as Dominique Devereaux on Dynasty in the 1980s. A Different World is one of my favorite TV shows, and Diane Carroll had a reoccurring role as the fabulous Marion Gilbert, which was Whitley Gilbert's mother. This was where I was first introduced to her. Throughout her life, she married four times. Her first marriage to producer Monte K ended in divorce and resulted in one child, her daughter Suzanne K. She also had a nine-year entanglement with Sidney Poitier which she talked about in her book, The Legs Are the Last Thing to Go, Aging, Acting, Marrying, Mothering, and Other Things I've Learned Along the Way. Later in her career, she became an advocate for breast cancer awareness after surviving it in the 1990s. Unfortunately, on October 4, 2019, she passed away from a reoccurrence of the disease. She is survived by her daughter, Suzanne, and two grandchildren. Diane Carroll's accomplishments paved the way for African American women in the entertainment industry, and for that she will always be remembered as a legend and an icon.